What's up guys? Maybe the most important extension the Braves have signed this offseason, Alex Anthopoulos is here to stay. Um, and you know you're the best in the biz when you get your own uh, blue box and post and seven years through the 2031 season. Yes, sir, because Alex Anthopoulos is not only the best GM in baseball, he may be a top five in all of sports. Um, just super happy to not have to worry about it. It was like in the back of all of our minds that AA could um, be on the be on the free agent block himself and the fact that Terry McGurk and company made that a very, very uh, moot point is a really good thing because he has transformed the Braves um, to one of the best organizations in baseball, one of the best cultures in baseball. Um, and I know Alex Anthopoulos doesn't really like that word, but he is a part of that. He understands the Braves and what he's been able to do is insane in the best way. Um, getting Matt Olson, getting Sean Murphy, getting Rysel Iglesias, uh, the 2021 trade deadline that, that ultimately resulted in the World Championship, six straight division titles, and a World Series championship deserves a long-term extension. Um, and also thanks to the Kansas City Royals for denying us permission to interview Dayton Moore uh, for our vacant GM position because it caused us to pivot to Alex Anthopoulos. Sometimes it's the moves that you don't make that you look at and you say, that was critical and the start of his um king of extensions was ozzy alves and ronald acuna jr austin riley matt olson sean murphy spencer schrider and the creative the creativeness we've seen this offseason with um the aaron bummer the um uh, chris sale trade and then extension um it's just really really fun to watch alex anthopoulos work and the way that he has and the best part about it is i think he's very very transparent with the players with the fans even though with the fans he doesn't he's the master of saying a lot and saying nothing at all but he doesn't BS his players. He understands that the human element of the game and is very, um, just such a good guy um, through and through from, from outside looking in. And it just, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy when you've got a guy that understands the business side of baseball, the human side of baseball, and is able to, and sports in general, and is able to mold that into one of the best organizations you'll ever see. That's Alex Anthopoulos in a nutshell. And he never stops working um, and never stops trying to make the team better. And really, it's insane that he's been able to do this without... Um, for the most part, the inter international portion of of the ability to get players because of the copy scandal, John Coppolella, he's been able to do it that way and um, been able to thrive despite um, moving on from franchise cornerstones Freddie Freeman and Dansby Swanson in the past two off seasons. You don't see that whatsoever, and being the class of class of baseball since Alex Anthopoulos has arrived is such so we're so blessed to be Braves fans and to to witness what Alex Anthopoulos has done. Yes, he's whiffed on some things, Cole Hamels and and some other things, but it's not 
crippling whatsoever. And he's a master of one-year deals. He's a master of extensions. He's a master of the creativity. I forgot Jared Koenig as well. Um, and getting guys with multi-years of control and them wanting to be Braves and understanding that the Braves, um, that the Braves organization cares on and off the field. It doesn't get any better than what Alex Anthopoulos has done. Um, and I was, it's probably from what reports are saying, seven years, 80, 80 million maybe. And it feels like he deserves a hundred million. Uh, just the con the consistency of of his message and the consistency that he continues to work and continues to make um, try to make the team better in every little minute way possible. I remember an interview Matt Olson did. I think last year he said he went up to Alex Anthopoulos and said. We could use some hand warmers uh, in the clubhouse um, because it was uh, essential. And Matt Olson just asked, and the next day the they had hand warmers. Or um, Travis Darno wanting an ice cream machine, and <laughs> Alex Anthopoulos saying, "If you go on this winning streak and you win this series or whatever, there will be an." Uh, ice cream machine that I mean that those the little things do matter and Alex Anthopoulos um, has done it all and done it all so so well that's why any move he makes we may have reservations about it and there's risk in every move you make but Alex Anthopoulos has um, made it so that I, I and the fan base, even if we have reservations, we trust AA and sometimes it may not work, but he pivots quickly when things um, don't necessarily work the way uh, the team or he had hoped and try to find something better. So he's always pulling the right levers um, as a human and as uh, baseball guy and we're so so blessed to have him around and actually this was the move that I was hoping for most because if you w let him walk out the door who knows what this team would be um, and now that we don't have to worry about that and he doesn't have to worry about that his family doesn't have to worry about that um, it's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely Phenomenal to have him around for so long and 90 When 98 of percent of your team is is uh, solidified and You don't really have to do too much going into off seasons. That is <laughs> um, Something that never ever 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 happens, but Alex Anthopoulos has done that and um the creativeness of this of this roster and the spring cleaning that we saw early and the taking on money and all that that only one man can do that and make it all work and that is Alex Anthopoulos being a master at his craft so so glad he's gonna be in Atlanta for a long term it was much needed and so, so excited. As always, go Braves, champions forever. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Helps out a lot. Thanks, guys.